Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, the federal government has issued a notice for the commencement of the procurement process for the 12 federal highways mapped out for concession. The notice was issued by the Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashala, in Abuja. He also unveiled the portal that was developed to ensure a seamless procurement process. The 12 highways mapped out for concession by the federal government has a combined length of about 1,963 kilometers and represents less than 5.6% of Nigeria's 35,000 kilometers federal highway network. At number four, the Association of Bureau de Change Operators of Nigeria has demanded the immediate release of 26 of its members who have allegedly been detained by the state security services. The association's lawyer, Rewan Idris, made the call at a press conference in Abuja on Tuesday. Idris said SSS operatives arrested and detained the BDC operators without charging them to court, which according to him is a breach of their fundamental human rights. He also noted that the operators have been in detention since SSS invited them from Kano, Yola, Sokoto, Mina and Lagos for questioning over two weeks ago. At number three, the governor of Benue State, Samuel Autumn, has said if the security challenges in the country persist, 2023 general elections may not hold successfully. The governor stated this when he visited President Muhammadu Buhari at the presidential villa in Abuja on Tuesday. Autumn, who arrived at the villa unaccompanied, met with Buhari over issues of insecurity in the country. According to him, Nigeria is sitting on a keg of gunpowder without meaningful progress being made on the issue of security. At number two, 77-year-old Dennis Ngueso has been re-elected as the President of the Republic of Congo. According to provisional results released on Tuesday, Ngueso won 88.57% of the vote. He has been in power for an accumulated 36 years since 1979. Recall that Congo's leading opposition presidential candidate, Guy Bryce Kolelas, died of COVID-19 last Sunday, a day after the country's general elections. He garnered 7.84% of the vote. At number one, the ruling All Progressives Congress has revealed plans to remain in power for 10 terms. That is an equivalent of 40 years. APC Interim National Chairman Mai Malabini made the revelation on Tuesday in Abuja during the inauguration of the 61-member Strategy and Contact Committee ahead of the 2023 general elections. He said, our vision is to provide a will that will drive the party to go beyond 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and even 10th term of office to effectively implement the party manifesto improve the lives of Nigerians and to remain Nigeria's leading political party. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.